Time to round up a big topic from the week. TxDOT is hosting another round of public meetings about plans to revamp I-45 through downtown. Listen to this, a portion of 45 would be placed below ground level, allowing for the possibility that a large public park could be placed above it near Minute Maid Park. The goal is to alleviate congestion and give the city a dramatic facelift. The project still needs approval from several state and federal agencies. TxDOT estimates the work to cost $6 billion. So is this the best use of money or would improving other transportation options be better? That's our topic this half hour. We want to hear from you on our Fox 26 Facebook page and on Twitter. Be sure to use the hashtag Fox 26 for life. Joining us live in the newsroom is our panel. It's led by our senior legal analyst, Chris Tritico. We have our public policy analyst, Jackie Bally, and attorney Nomi Hussein. Good morning again, guys. Good morning. All right, so the big thing everyone's talking about with this project is it would completely remove the Pierce Elevated. I mean, that would be huge. Not only is it huge, look, people that are opposed to this need to need to realize the history of I-45. There has never been a time in my lifetime, which now extends a little bit over a half a century, that somewhere on I-45 South there hadn't been construction. My entire life they've been working on that freeway. If you drive at any time, day or night, through, through downtown over the Pierce Elevated, you will sit in traffic. It is backed up. 24 hours a day, seven days a week, something has to be done. It's about time. Move that out of downtown, make it wide enough where you can get the traffic through and do it right this time. When the, when the Pierce Elevated was designed, it was designed for a few hundred thousand cars, not the millions of cars that go over that, over that area every week. That's the problem. It needs to, who's, I don't know who's up. It needs to be fixed, Nomi Hussein. Let's, um, yeah, I, 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 I say trash it, move the freeway and make it better. You know, there's a saying that this reminds me of when I was growing up, my father would always tell me, know me, time is money. And that's what this reminds me of. You know, the average commute into downtown round trip is 42 miles, which costs over $6,000, of which $1,100 is which you're just sitting in traffic. The Pierce Elevated needs to go. We need to make that freeway more effective. We need to widen it and we need to move it out of downtown. Yes, in the short term, it's gonna cost money and it's going to cost a lot of time but this is a long-term solution because the city of houston the reason there's always been construction on 45 since you've been growing up is because houston and harris county has continuously grown and we're going to continue to grow yeah. so that's why this is an effective solution it's going to cause a little bit of heartache and headache in the short term but the long term this is the right solution and the right thing to do for the city now jackie being a graduate of, of texas's second best university um, you have been a big benefactor and you believe in the Pierce Elevated, right? Being a graduate of U of H, the best <laughs> university, <laughs> yes I have, and plus my background is in transportation planning. Two things, um, when we look at transportation projects in the region, there's a short range plan and there's a long range plan. This is clearly in the long range plan because it's five years away. We haven't even started environmental assessments, any of that. The reason why Texas is doing the public hearings is for discussions like these. They want to get the input of constituents, they want to get the uh, input of public and uh, stakeholders, put that into the plan, and then when funding has been identified, move it to the short range plan. Well, that's, that's also the first required thing. by law, right? That's the first, well, especially if you're using federal dollars, right. that's correct. So that's the first thing. Second thing is, on 45, you have 272,000 cars per day traveling on 45. That number is going to jump up to 3 million within 20 years. So of course something has to be done. This is something that they're looking at as a long range plan, um, maybe five to seven years before they even start the environmental work. So it's something that we need to be prepared for and I do think they're heading in the right direction. Let me go to Sally. She's monitoring our social media. Okay, let's check in on Twitter and see what some of our viewers are saying. First up, we have Graffiti Houston. He says, wow, removing the Pierce Elevated I'm mind blown. And then Ben says 45 definitely needs improvement, especially around the 59 interchange, but road work will make it difficult getting to the med center. And then uh, with the cron, Matt Short says someday we will tell our grandchildren of the Pierce Elevated, hoping to reconnect them to their culture. 
<laughs> I like that one. <laughs> yeah, because it's, it is it is a cultural <laughs> icon, the Pierce Elevated. Uh, uh, people have been saying for years we need to go to Houston to see the Pierce Elevated. <laughs> yeah, exactly, right. <laughs> but you know what? They say, guys, if they tear this down, speeds are supposed to improve by 24 miles per hour during the morning commute. No, Not no bad. question. There's no yeah. question because e on either side of the Pierce Elevated, no, uh, no matter what time of the day you get on there, you're going to sit in traffic. And so I, th I think that at the end of the day, it has to improve that. And, and you know, uh, Ben said it's going to, uh, while we're doing the construction, it's going to make it harder to get to the med center. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I agree. But that's, that, that's, that's no reason not to do it. Absolutely. I mean, that's a small price to pay for the benefit we're going to get from this. Yeah, there's a... Look, one of the things that a lot of the mayoral candidates are talking about is, are the potholes, right? And the, uh, fixing our potholes. Because infrastructure, even if it's potholes, if it's freeways, is the Pierce Elevated, infrastructure is extremely important to the quality of life that we're going to have in Houston. So yes, we are going to suffer as, as these improvements are made, but once it is made, our traffic and our uh, congestion will improve significantly. And ultimately, that's what we want because it will improve, it will continue to improve the quality of life that we have here in Houston. You know, and Sally, the, the Part of the problem is, is the in the United States in whole, we have not paid attention to infrastructure issues. And yeah. over 90% of our bridges need to be replaced. And it's about time that we start paying attention to critical infrastructure needs. And I think that that's been a, a big change in the Obama administration and a big change at the new governor is trying to look at these infrastructure mm -hmm. issues. It's a positive thing at the end of the day.